So Brian, we've spoken about how you'd really like to get a job and uh, you know contribute back to your mum for all the support she's given you over the years. And we've also spent some time last week looking at your formulation about how social situations really make you anxious and, and, and fearful and prevent you from, I guess, reaching that goal. And so what we're going to do today is start at the bottom of that hierarchy and identify a really relatively easy one to start at where we're going to go into, or where you're going to go into a social situation and we're going to start to test out some of these predictions that you've made previously about what might happen and how other people might respond. Today? Yeah. And do you remember the one you identified was about asking directions to somebody in the street? Yeah. So what I, what I want to do, Brian, is, is just ask you to kind of set out the prediction. Tell me what you think will happen if you went and asked somebody in the street for directions somewhere. Just makes me nervous. Just, I can't get the words out. They get mixed up. and I, I don't know what to say, and mm -hmm. oh, I just I get hot, I get, go red, I get sweaty, I just, just look stupid, look like a complete numpty, yeah. and I just don't want to, yeah. And how might the other person respond to you then, in that situation? <sighs> I just think you're stupid, or you're know, alky, or you just, sh I don't know, you mm. can't speak, or... So they might think you're stupid and alcoholic, yeah. and would, would they say anything? Might do. What might they say to you? I don't know. Shout at you, tell you to get lost, laugh at you. Right. Make you feel stupid. Yeah. So how much do you believe that prediction right now at the moment? Out of 100%, so if 100% is this is definitely what's gonna happen, 0% is it's, it's not gonna happen. How much do you believe this now? Like it's, it's almost definitely going to happen, so it's like 90, 100%, like quite, like almost definite. Yeah, okay, so very high. So let's just quickly think about an alternative, an alternative prediction, one that feels less threatening, less frightening. And I know that might sound really hard for you to think about, feel really difficult, but, you know, be creative. What, what might be an alternative outcome? The, I suppose the other person might understand you and just tell you by the directions. Yeah. So you might feel anxious still, you might feel anxious and a bit panicky, but yeah. nothing bad will happen. And how would you be able to gauge how that person is responding to you? What would you be able to do differently? I suppose, I suppose look at them more. Yeah, so maintain some eye contact, check out how they're responding, how they're looking towards you. It's about gathering all that new information, isn't it? So the outcome might be that they give me directions, they don't think anything less of me, although I'm feeling a bit anxious, I don't look particularly different, and I cope, and I get my directions, and it's a success. So how much do you believe that outcome at the moment? 10%, it's, okay. it's not very likely. So we've set up the experiment, we've set up the predictions, should we go and try it out? Now? Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, have a seat, Brian. Well, Brian, well done. Can I just say, first of all, how, how did that go? How did that feel? Uh, it was quite lucky, wasn't I? Mm. It, it worked this time. Um, I was still really n nervous, and I was going up to them, and I kept, I kept saying in my head, um, do you know how to get to the bus station? Do you know how to get to the bus station? Just so I... I had the words ready to speak to them, um, but uh, it was horrible. I was getting really nervous. My, my mouth got my mouth got really dry. Mm. Um, but 
yeah, I, I said it, and they, they knew where the, they knew where it was. So they just told me, and that was, that was it. Okay, so you felt anxious. You felt those yeah. feelings, those symptoms of anxiety. But actually, you, you, you did it. You asked the person. You looked at them. They didn't appear critical, hostile, judgmental. Not really. No. You got your words out. You got the directions. And you left again. That was really well done. So if we go back and, and revisit these initial predictions you made, so your first one was that I'm going to get my words muddled, I'll look stupid, I'll go in, I'll embarrassed, red, hot, sweaty, they will judge me in a, in, a, in a critical way. How would you rate that now? Um, a, a bit lower, I suppose. Um, I'm not, I was lucky, but I don't know, I suppose. 60, 70 percent. Okay, good. So it's right. come down? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. And, and the alternative was actually, I'll feel anxious, but nothing bad will happen, and they'll give me some directions and I'll get through it. Where do you rate that belief now? I suppose, I suppose a bit higher, because that's, that's what happened this time. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe 30, 40 percent. Okay, Maybe. so that's that's gone up and the other one's come down, which is brilliant. But you also mentioned that um, this might have been a fluke or a one-off. So how do you think we could discover whether it was a one-off? I'd, I'd have to do it again, wouldn't I? Yeah, you would. Yeah. And do you, do you feel able to do that now? Yeah, yeah, I think I could. Excellent, well done.